This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I want to show you how to use Panasonic Log Media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut version 10.4 supports Rec 2020, Rec 2020 PQ, and Rec 2020 HLG. Except for legacy projects, don't use Rec 2020. This first appeared in Final Cut 10.3 and is no longer recommended. Panasonic. All HDR media is gray. That's just the way it's recorded to protect the shadows and to protect the highlights. First thing I'm going to do is go to the inspector. Again, I'm in general. Change the LUT. And this time it's going to be a camera LUT. Panasonic V-Log. Look at that. Just by adding one LUT, look where we got much better, but not great. We're still in a Rec. 709 space, but this was shot HLG. There's a new tool that I want to recommend to you, which is called HDR Tools. I'm going to drag that on top and hide this. With HDR Tools, if I go up to here, I map HDR to Rec. 709 space. So it takes all of that highlight information and tone maps it from the clip so that it looks better. Let's just do a quick color grade on this. We'll switch to the board just to make it quicker because I want to concentrate on the grayscale values. Click on exposure. Let's pull our blacks down, pull our whites up, and let's make sure we're in a Rec. 709 project. We're not. There we go. And that is 2020 HLG footage using the HDR tools to look beautiful inside a Rec. 709 project. And that's really a pretty shot. Okay, well, let's try something different. Command J, go to HLG. The video was shot HLG, so I don't need HDR tools. I'll go to the color board. And notice I didn't have to change my settings too much because HDR tool made it so that they were close, but I still have to change them. That's why you have to do two color passes to do HDR and SDR. But let's change this to PQ. Do, do, do. Notice our white levels are way up here, and they default to about 2K. I'll pull this down, give myself some more black levels. I keep my whites around, keep my whites around 2K. Now, I've taken and increased the white level 20 times. Look at what this looks like when tone mapping is turned off. I've lost all of that detail. That's why tone mapping is important. It's taking all the highlights and mapping them so they can be displayed properly in an SDR video. If I need to convert this, this is an HLG format. Let's go back here. I'm going to turn on HDR tools and map this HLG to PQ. This allows me to convert the HLG transform to PQ. And again, do I want to set the peak brightness? Yes, I want to set that to about 2000. So this does the mapping for me. That's why the HDR tools is so important. It allows me to convert PQ to HLG. It allows me to convert HLG to PQ. And it also illustrates that if I'm doing a color grade for one format, I cannot use that color grade for anything else because the values are just so different. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 280. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 19 hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects.
Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.